Hi, I'm Sangman Jo, Senior Product Manager for Java Tools at Oracle. I will show you how to get started setting up and testing your Java embedded application on an ARM evaluation board. So to get started, you need to purchase an evaluation board from kale.com. This is a debugger, uh, Ulink ME, it is called. Uh, we have two cables here. Let me, uh, first of all, let me check the board to see if everything is okay. So let me connect two cables here. So this one cable goes to one computer and that is used to power your board. So you can use either one of these two slots. doesn't really matter. So let me just insert. Then you can see this demo example. Before we go there, uh, let's check out this board. So there are two serial ports, uh, four buttons, and there's one joystick. Uh, there's even a camera, uh, you're gonna see it later, and here you can insert your micro SD card later. There are two USB slots, um, each regular USB slots plus micro USB slots, and this one is used for power, but we don't need it now. Let's test this demo application. Uh, it comes with the board. So, AD value, you uh, use this to increase or decrease your AD value. You can try this button, temper button, user button. It's working fine. And four way joysticks. I can press this. Or even I can try touch screen that. The next demo is acceleration and angular rate. So this has this board has an accelerometer so if I tilt like this you can see this y-axis acceleration value changes and if I tilt like that you can see this x-axis also you can see this angular rate changes. The next demo is this camera so here is the camera so I can move my fingers like this and you can see that camera is working fine okay now we have tested this demo application you need to download and install MDK ARM IDE from the KL website but then go to oracle.com slash java me to get java me SDK Return to your browser and download the Oracle Java Embedded Client file. You will use this file later to install the Java Embedded on the evaluation board. Next, set up the micro SD card by copying and installing configuration files. Let's set up the micro SD card. Open an Explorer window and navigate to the directory where you extracted the package file. Locate the platform.conf file and see if all the settings are correct. Open rtc.conf and set up the time and date that the device should use and save the file. Copy the files onto the micro SD card. Eject the card from your computer and you are ready to insert the card into the board. Now you need to prepare your board for OJWC installation. To download your Java ME runtime, you need to use this U-Link debugger. Uh, insert that here and one more USB cable to the computer and to your debugging interface. So connect that USB to this slot until you hear the click. Now your computer is trying to recognize this board. So see if the drivers are all set up. There's one more step you need to do before you install Java ME Runtime. There is this jumper called BAT3V3. So you need to move this before you install Java Runtime. So move this by one 
pin so that make sure you have this jumper in the right position. Now that we have everything in place, let's install our Java ME runtime on the, on the evaluation board. Navigate to the directory where the runtime is. Double click the flash.bat file and it opens the MDK ARM IDE. It'll take a few minutes to write the program to the board and verify the installation. Once it is done, you'll see a message that indicates that the process is finished. Install your sample Java ME application and run it on the board. Plug your microSD card to the slot. Connect your Ethernet cable like this as you connect it. And then click this reset button once. You will see uh, this diagnosis messages, initializing LCD, initializing time, memory manager, OK, 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 and file system. Then it tries to get the IP address from the network. Now uh, an IP address was assigned. This means that you can access this board using this IP address. Let's write a simple application that you can run on your external device. I have this NetBeans IDE installed on my machine. Um, I also have Java ME SDK installed. To verify that, I'm now looking at my installed tools by choosing Tools, Java ME, and then Active Device Manager. And here is the Java ME Platform SDK 3.2. I will write an application and run it in NetBeans first. Go to New Project, Java ME, Mobile Application, and then click Next. Uncheck Create Hello Midlet because you will create your own midlet. I am naming the application as Embedded Application 1. Click Next. Change the device from Java ME phone to IMPNG phone and change the device profile to IMPNG. Make sure the emulator platform is 3.2 and then click to finish. In the project pane, right click source package and choose new midlet. Let's name this as hello world. Click Finish. Open Hello World Java. Using this template, I will write a simple application that counts from 0 to 100 once, you, once the application is run. So it's a for loop. System out print line. Hello World. And the counter, I. Let's run this application and see if the results come in the output window. So let me turn on the output window. Here's the application. Uh, here's the emulator. And you can verify that the application is running on this IMPNG device emulator without a problem. OK, now let's see if, I, if we can run the same application on a device. First of all, select device selector to see all, all the devices that you can use. Now let's try to add a new device to this computer. So I have currently have a board connected to this computer. So I'm going to type the IP address. You can find this from the LCD of the board. If the connection is good, then it will say uh, the device is available. Soon, you will see that the device name pops up here. Now that you have the device name 
uh, in the list, you can run your application directly on this device from your NetBeans IDE. Let's open a party session. So enter the device IP address, make sure the port is 65,000 and connection type is raw. Open. Okay, this is a login window. Now I'm going to run this application on this device and see if the if we see the same results. Okay. Uh, the application is running fine on the device, as you can see here. Now that you have finished setting up your board and testing it, you can write your own Java ME application and test it on the board. Please visit oracle.com slash java ME for more information. Thank you.